Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of NASA FAQ and today we have the question that we have been getting from the customers and other feedbacks from our clients here is that how do I extract the QDFF files using the QDDoop extract tool? So as you all know, the QDFF files are the files after you backup something using the QDDoop technology provided by Hybrid Backup Sync 3 that we have here and how do we have access to those files I will show you quickly in a few seconds. So I'll just quickly move uh, to the NAS and then we will see how to proceed. So first is that after we do the uh, backup we, we have to have access to the QDDoop extract tool. So to do so, you have, uh, once you open the Hybrid Backup Sync 3 uh, through the QTS in your NAS, you have the opportunity to download the QDDoop extract tool here, either for Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, depending on which version you want, 64 or 32-bit. However, after you download it, then you will have to install it and see something like this. But before I move on there, I want to emphasize that uh, the QDFF file extension is the QDDoop technology block level backup uh, of the data and I already prepared the backup in advance so I uh, did the backup of this, the folder and uh, it's called the backup 3 QDFF with a total size and uh, initially it was 10 gigabyte and uh, then uh, after we will see the result after the backup here which is the backup 3QDFF and as you can see is 5.20 gigabyte backed up, back uh, up of the data so it's uh, almost or is, it is half of what the total size was and then we want to access those and how do we do that? that's where the QDDoop extract tool comes into play before, because if we try to randomly click and see what is inside, we cannot actually see all the files because of the extension of the QDFF. Therefore, it has reduced in size. Normally, it should show us this kind of content, which is the folder here. Normally, it should show us this kind of content, but then we have to use the extract tool. So, we go to the extract tool. We open it and then we browse the files to where we have it. Let me try to find it over here. Was uh, this T? Yep. Yeah. And then it is backup 3 QDFF. Select the folder and it is running the uh, extraction. And you haven't extracted it all, so before that, you have the opportunity through this uh, software to view the content of uh, the folder itself and see what do you exactly need. So on the left hand side you have this kind of panel here with the drop down menu and uh, you see the folder and then you have uh, the uh, other folders inside that one and you can choose which ones you want to extract. For example you might need uh, only a few of the files, you don't need everything to be extracted, you can choose it here like three, these three videos and simply click extract or just go do the, the, whole, uh, the whole folder here and then click extract and then it gives you this notification here telling you that the estimated size after restoration is 10.08 gigabyte wherefore in advance it is only 5.20 through the thanks to the uh, QDDU block level file backup technology so you have to make sure you have enough space it will tell you all these notifications over there so click OK and uh, choose a destination of uh, your liking let's say I don't know uh, somewhere alright uh, documents all right. and then it gives you the specified conflict policy or dealing with the file conflicts so you have to choose whether you want to replace them all if there is a folder with the same name or skip it all. So for now I'll just skip it all and then it will uh, see, it will uh, land you in this page where it will start extracting. So for that one it might uh, need not, not a lot of time but sometimes that you uh, have to wait but in the end 
you will be able to access everything inside and do the extraction using the QDeduke Extract tool. So it is as simple as this. So keep in mind, download the QDeduke Extract tool once you back up and use it to extract the QDFF files in your computer or your NAS. So yeah, so this is it with the NAS FAQ for today. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.